Wow, my hair is a mess. <sighs> so hi, again. I thought that I would go ahead and uh, make another one, another vlog, but this time with light and maybe a better camera angle. And I promise you, I just brushed my hair, but pfft, it does what it wants. I still have a little bit of vanity left, even though I'm an old hag. Anyway, um, the title of the vlog isn't just about me adding physical light. It's about adding light to your life to help you cope with chronic illness. Um, I probably don't have to tell anybody how you can do that, but I'm, I've got some suggestions. <sighs> I know for me, it's not easy for me. I can't have friends over and then physically I can't do much of anything. I can't walk very far. So I don't really go out anywhere. Actually, I haven't been anywhere in, except to Walmart once or twice or three times in the last five, six months. Yeah, my memory. Anyway, um, so <sighs> I'm so bad at this, and this is such a bad video quality, but I'm still hoping my intent comes through. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to sit like this, because, again, my vanity is taking over. And if I sit back, I have jowls, and I really don't like that. <laughs> anyway, as Jeannie Robertson would say, you got to do what you got to do. Well, I don't know if she'd say that or not. Anyway. Blah, blah, blah. The point is, I guess, is that you really need sunlight, especially when you have, I have two types of depression, major depressive disorder and dysthymia, or dysthymia, depending on who you ask. And you really need some light. And even if you don't have some sort of major depressive uh, issue, you need light anyway. It's just like you need that vitamin D for your bones. You need There's all sorts of benefits to getting natural light. And um, I guess I'm just reminding some people, most people know this, but forget. We forget. Especially when you're my age, you've been through menopause and two divorces. Kind of takes away some of your brain, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, so I would recommend that, well... I shouldn't say recommend them. I, I just know it helps me a lot. I actually go out on my front porch whenever the weather's warm, which where I live, it ain't that warm that much, especially this time of year. Uh, well, I guess that's what I mean. Boy, am I awkward at this. Wow. Anyhow, you'd never know how many big crowds of people I used to sing in front of. Anyway. Um, so get some light today and you need, we all need the light of friends in our life. And I mean, friends who care, friends who will take the time to reach out to you and, and, and mostly just to listen to you. I know that's what I need. I don't need friends to solve my problems most of the time, although I have called out for help when I just can't do it. Um, and as a Christian, I believe in the light of God. I believe that, you know, we the world is in a down spiral as far as, you know, how much evil's in society. And I'm not going to preach. I'm just going to say that much. And I need his hope. And I need his intervention in my life. So there's a lot of ways you can use the word light. I hope that... Um, Maybe this encourages somebody because, <sighs> sorry, the pain's starting to get pretty bad, so I am have to shift position a little bit. Um, I'm still here, and I've been suicidal often in the last couple years, but light of all kinds helps keep me going. First and foremost, the light of the knowledge that this isn't all there is to life. Secondly, 
the natural light that he made. You may not agree with me, some of you, that, uh, but that is my firm belief. You don't have to agree. I just hope that you do. You know, because I'm vain. <laughs> uh, and I like to be agreed with. Anyway, the third one is the light of friendship. Which, there's all kinds of things you can use light as the word light as a euphemism for. But these are the top three, I think, for someone who is dealing with a chronic illness. Don't be afraid to reach out. And in this, I'm not able to, t I can sort of type now. I only have real use of one arm. So I kind of have to lean the laptop against my forehead and take hold it up with the bad arm rest you know like the power cords resting on my right arm which is probably not that good for it anyway and then i tapity tap and it gets painful quick so i've been reluctant to call people because i don't want to bother them they have lives i pretty much don't anymore um I can't go anywhere. I can't sleep in my bed. So I need light. I need light. We all do. I hope you find the right sources. And I hope that this video reaches people who need to see it and to be encouraged by it. Sorry for the messy hair. I can't get it to brush right. I've got an, in a, anyway, I've blathered enough, taken up enough of your time. If you've watched this, and it was helpful for you, please like. Feel free to comment as long as it's not too hateful. Um, subscribe and share. Um, do you think people would be benefited by this? Anyway, I hope you all are blessed. Thanks. Bye.